I figured out Havertz. Well, I think I've almost figured out Havertz. Don't play him as a striker. He's not a false nine. He's not the guy you play as a striker. He's not. You put a striker there and you give him a free role and play him off the striker. I'm not the biggest Havertz fan. I'm not, I'm not a fan of him, but this was his best game. Easily in the four games so far, the Euros, this has been his best game. And he actually played well before Fulcrook came on. He even scored almost goal of the tournament. But once Fulcrook came on, he now played behind him. He was allowed to now roam. That now makes much more sense because now you can now move to the right wing, the left wing, move all around, add another dimension and another piece in the attack. But you have a striker's presence within there. That works. Him as a false nine and as the main striking vocal port doesn't work. But him off the strike, it works. And Havertz had his best game this Euros. So if you stick like that, makes sense. Germany, they... First half was worrying. I'm worried about that the defense. I don't think Sané should have started. The first half was worrying and Denmark had a few scares. Even Germany with the better team. Germany with the better team in the first half, but there were a few scares. They were much better in the second half. I think once they just got into their groove and they now got a lot more confident, they looked a lot better. And I think once Havertz plays well and starts linking with the players, they look a lot better. So once Havertz was playing better, I think it elevated the entire team. I think you just saw that payment through the entire team. Because the, um, it's weird though. Hear me out. Germany defensively, there are some issues here. And Schlotterbeck ain't... I'm not the biggest fan. I call him Schlotterbeck. But I think Schlotterbeck seems a bit more safer than Tar. So going into the next game, looking at this, maybe you stick with his defense with Rudiger and Schlotterbeck in the defensive pair. <laughs> Rudiger is hilarious, bro. Like, I think I think Rudiger might have a few screws loose. There must be something wrong with, with Rudiger. Musiala, bro. Musiala needs to... If he gets his composure, Machios gets better decision making knows when and when to dribble we have a world-class player he just needs to clean up a few rough edges if he does that he's there because the talent is there the talent is there it was a quality goal quality goal well-timed run good bounce on the ball beautiful niche bottom right against a good keeper in shamaica so there is a quality player there, but there's a few things that, you know, okay, it's immaturity. He's 21 years old. He ain't a freak in R9 because Arnon was, was, was a, a damn freak. But if he just cleans up his game, he can say, what's up? Germany were not perfect. But I can see instances where, oh, this team can go all the way. Because there are moments in this game where I was like, woo, if Spain comes through, they could really cause you issues defensively. Because remember, Spain are way better offensively than Denmark. But the instance in the game where no, this looks like a really good team. And this looks like a team, and that's the key thing. They are growing in confidence. And what Jimmy need is that home crowd. If they can just use that home crowd, grow in confidence, start to ele elevate their performances and start to elevate, 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 you notice that these guys are slowly growing more confidence and slowly now growing into the game. And Nagsman made very good subs. Some brave subs because he's taken off Gundogan. And something I was shocked with, he kept Harvets on and played Harvets on full crew because normally it's. Havertz or Fulcrook, but he kept both of them on. I was like, okay, Nagelsmann is doing some very interesting things, but Nagelsmann, keep it simple. See, the key to international football management is keep it simple, keep it effective. Keep it simple, keep it effective. So shout out to Denmark. You know, they, they did a thing that a few close shaves to now say what's up. And bro, that offside for Denmark was that was less than a PPK. That offside was less than a PPK. So Denmark, that's very unlucky. But shout out to Germany. Overall, they deserve to win. They move on to the next round. And we are very close to seeing a Spain Germany quarter final. Unless Georgia do freaking Dortmund. Like that video, guys. Subscribe. Join us for our post-match reaction hangout. Gets real.